E aí pessoal, tudo beleza? Novo gameplay aqui de Castlevania Lord of Shadows 2, a continuação de um gameplay aí que já tem no canal. E nesse jogo a gente volta aqui com o Gabriel agora como Drácula, no final do, do Castlevania Lord of Shadows, a gente vê ele se transformando em Drácula lá com... É, com os poderes da, dos Lords das Sombras e também com é, o poder vampiro da Laura. E aqui a, os cavaleiros, eu acredito que tipo assim, uma espécie de cavaleiros da igreja, eles tentam matar o Draco aqui no castelo dele nesse início, é tipo um prólogo isso aqui. A gente percebe ali atrás também tem uma imagem do Lúcifer, parece que crucificado, velho. Aqui é o tutorial básico de combate pra gente se. Tem os mesmos coisas de combate. Falhou. Essa espada aqui a gente vai demorar a pegar ela depois. do caos aqui. Come on, then. 
Caraca. Secrets. Logo de cara a gente já tem um titã aqui pra gente escalar. E um bozinho no final dessa coisa aqui, que é esse carinha aqui que eu não lembro. Um paladino, um negócio assim. That will be your ruin. The stench of your soul is disgusting. Cadê você? I will purge the world of your presence. <laughs> Isso aí. Vai fugir. para lá essa parte aqui era meio chatinha nossa 
difícil de acertar esse negócio. Esse negocinho aqui pra mim passar Aí tem que fazer com que o próprio cara Mire lá Acho que vai ter muitos aqui, na verdade. coisa tem que quebrar o negócio aqui, então tem que fazer o cara mirar, só que aqui vai vir uns carinhas bem, bem traiçoeiros. Esperar que os bichinhos virem, vai vir, vai vir, vai mirar na gente aqui, vai ficar de boa. Essa etapa aqui não nem tem preocupação com life nem nada não. No mesmo caso, ele também detonar isso daqui até a gente arrancar a cabeça do, 
do negócio aqui. invadindo o castelo e chovendo gigante
que tá tão forte que tipo, qualquer coisa. In virtute storum factorum de I nomi. I was like you once. But your God showed me another path. Messias. <laughs> Emmanuel. Soter. Sabahot. Adios. Inkiros. Athanatos. Jehovah. Adonai. That's why the power of your God cannot destroy me, because I am his chosen one. Ubi furent haec nomina et dignade, praecimus vobis, at quelegamus vos ut non habietas. Ut is what is that a mepper pestem pick neck pair aliquod? Quod eam quae maleficium nocere e incantationem mequae in anima neck in corpore! As grandes decepções desse jogo foi justamente nessa cena aqui, que eu acho que na, no lançamento eles mostraram uma dessas cenas, se não me engano essa, que vai aparecer em seguida, e aí todo mundo achou que a gente ia jogar com o Alucard e não com o Gabriel novamente. Acabou que foi decepcionante porque você joga com o Gabriel, na verdade, é, se você analisar é um outro ponto de vista da história, já que a gente já tem o Sinfonia da Noite. In ages long past, there was once a warrior. Aqui vai ter uma historinha sobre o que, que aconteceu. His deeds of heroism and skill in combat were legend. His name was whispered within the hallowed halls of men for countless generations. Yet now his name is lost. Lost in the mists of time forever. It is said that destiny delights in the misfortunes of men, and so it proved true for Gabriel Belmont. For even after defeating the Lords of Shadow and ending their reign of terror, his soul was consumed by the very darkness that he sought to destroy. As that ancient prophecy foretold, whomsoever defeats the Lords of Shadow will sit upon their throne to rule as the Prince of Darkness. But before fate had played its hand, and unknown to Gabriel, his beloved wife Marie conceived a son by him. The Brotherhood of Light warned her of that ancient prophecy and the terrible fate which lay before her husband. So, with heavy heart, She concealed her pregnancy. For it is written that only the blood of that lineage has the power to defeat the Prince of Darkness. Thus, 
When newly born, the child Trevor was hidden from his father and raised a holy warrior of the Brotherhood in secret, so that one day he would be ready to stand against his own blood, as foretold. That day would come, some 25 years later, for what had once been Gabriel Belmont was now a powerful vampire known as Dracula, the Dragon. The Brotherhood of Light fought against the onslaught of his dark armies, which laid waste to towns and villages across the land, but to little avail. Trevor was now fully grown to manhood, and the truth of his origin and destiny of the Belmont clan was finally revealed to him. So he set out to confront his father, and end his family shame forever. But Trevor failed, and was mortally wounded in the confrontation with his father. He was no match for Dracula's terrible power. Yet, as he lay dying, Trevor finally revealed his true identity. Dracula was driven mad with grief and rage over the revelation. He desperately sought to save his dying son by giving him his own lifeblood. But it was too late, or so he thought. Dracula buried his son within the walls of his great castle and then swore bloody vengeance upon the world. Raising an army of creatures beholden only to him, he struck with fury and merciless cruelty at humanity. He vowed to hunt God's children for all eternity. But fate still had one last card to play. Dracula's blood had power, and that power now coursed through the veins of his dead son slowly reviving him over many years, until one night, he emerged once more into the world, not as a man, but as a creature like his father. What had once been Trevor Belmont was now gone forever. He was now a vampire like his father. Though he swore that he would not be like him, he would take the name Alucard. He would be a force for good, opposing his father's capacity for evil. In that very moment, Alucard swore to destroy Dracula. But fate had something else in mind. Meanwhile, Trevor's own son grew into a fearsome warrior with a reputation that far exceeded even that of his illustrious father. Simon Belmont knew little of his own lineage nor his importance in the events to come. All he knew was that his mother had died at the hands of Dracula's minions when he was but an infant, and his father had been killed in single combat with Dracula. Found and raised by the people of White Mountains, Simon had but one purpose in life, to destroy Dracula for the murder of his parents. After years of training in the arts of war, Simon set off for Dracula's castle, and a date with destiny. Once in the castle, Simon met Alucard, and knowing little of the true identity of his companion, joined forces with him. Blood bound them together, and fate took a hand once again, as finally they met their dreaded foe in mortal combat. Simon defeated Dracula with his whip, and yet, Alucard sensed that all was not as it should be. Dracula would return. Isso aí faz um, um, uma ligação entre a história do Gabriel do Castle of the Love of Shadows e desse jogo aqui. Aqui a gente já começa no, no dia presente, se não me engano, é, já no, no ano de 2015, alguma coisa assim, que foi o ano que o jogo se passou. Ha <laughs> ha 
Eu acho a dublagem desse jogo uma, da, uma das coisas mais interessantes da série, que você tem o Robert Carlyle como Drácula e o Patrick Stewart como Zobeck. An unusual hiding place for the Prince of Darkness. Então, é só você pensar que você está vendo aí o Professor Xavier ou Picard como Zobeck. Mas acho que uma dublagem mais precisa seria do Sean Connery, que ele é a cara dele. E o que você? Why have you been hiding all this time? Gabriel. Don't you dare call me that. Essas cenas aí é do final do, do primeiro Lord of Shadows. Seria a cutscene final, que foi uma grande descoberta assim, mas nem tanto, né? Porque eu, é, todo mundo já desconfiava lá no início mesmo. What do you want, old friend? Satan's acolytes are readying for his imminent return. Help me stop him. Or you and I will become his favorite pets. For all eternity. Uh. Bom pessoal, esse aí é o primeiro vídeo aí da série de Castlevania Lord of Shadows 2, é um prólogo que faz o, uma ligação com, com os outros jogos de Castlevania e também com o primeiro jogo da série Lord of Shadows. Eu vou ficando por aqui, aquele abração para vocês, deixe seu like aí no vídeo, se inscreva no canal e até o próximo gameplay de Lord of Shadows 2.